right, all right. So I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, what a waste of perfectly good candy. But here's the deal. These things were just going to be eaten by some kid somewhere. So I'm actually giving these candies the longest life they're ever going to see. Plus, I'm saving the youth of America and their parents hundreds of dollars in potential cavity bills. Uh, not, not only that, but I honestly don't even know how someone would eat one of these or why. I put this block of maple in the middle of the guitar just to mount everything to and to add some rigidity to the neck pocket. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that I arranged the jawbreakers. This way they're showing the cross sections on the top and the sides of the guitar. I did draw up some sketches on the computer just to kind of see what it would look like, but you never really truly know what it's going to look like until you see it physically in front of you. So what I'm going to do now is drill out all the cavities and then clean them up with the router and then I'll move on to finishing up the shape of the guitar. See how sticky this test jaw breaker is? Uh, that's because I didn't coat the candy in anything before adding the resin to it. So I'm not, I'm not sure why that causes the resin to not cure fully, but it does. So I want to fiberglass the top of the guitar to add some str extra strength, uh, since the section where the control cavity is going to be is going to be pretty thin. So I'm going to coat the entire thing in polyurethane right now to seal the candy up. Well, I was just sanding down the top uh, to smooth out the fiberglass, and it appears that I just took a chunk of glass off here with the palm sander. Uh, but what I was thinking, well, what I'm seeing is how yellow the poly or epoxy resin made the entire guitar. And so I think I'm just going to try to peel it all off and just hope the thin sections don't cave in. This is the neck I'm going to use for the guitar. It's a paddle neck, so the headstock hasn't been cut out yet, but also it hasn't had any fret work done to it yet other than having the frets installed. So what I'm going to do right now is make sure the neck is completely flat, level all the frets, then I'll recrown each individual fret to make them round again. I get a lot of comments asking about how to do the wiring for electric guitars and the best advice I can give is just to print out a diagram online of whatever configuration you want to use uh, and then just start connecting stuff. Obviously you need to know how to solder as well, um, it's not really hard, I'm pretty bad at it honestly but I can still usually get everything working.
I picked the flying V-shape because it's such a square body and that allows for the jawbreaker cross sections to show all around the guitar. And I, I thought it just fit the style of the flying V as well. Uh, there's a few quirks about the guitar, but overall I think it looks pretty cool. Um, working with Candy in terms of shaping and routing wasn't the easiest because it kind of has a tendency to break apart. It's, it's so brittle. Uh, the epoxy I used shouldn't yellow over time, but I really don't know what the jawbreakers will look like in a few years' time. Um, I did seal them and they're, you know, they're encased in resin, but only time will tell. Here's one of the areas where the Candy broke away after routing and I had to fill it in with some epoxy wood. Also screwed up the neck pocket alignment on the initial routing, uh, so I had to fill in a little spot there. I always measure twice and hopefully cut once, but this time, I don't know if I just had a lapse, you know, a mental lapse or whatever, but my measuring you know, was way off apparently. The back of the guitar looks really cool too. Uh, I like how you can see the entire jawbreakers from the back, and I was able to achieve a really nice glossy finish on the back as well, which makes it super clear. I get a lot of questions about purchasing my guitars or doing commissions, and to tell the truth, I hope one day I'll be able to sell some of my creations, but for the time being, these guitars aren't up to my standards where I'd feel comfortable sticking my name on them and selling them to people. So I'm gonna continue to work on this craft, and maybe one day I'll start selling them, um, but for now, I'm just kinda having fun with it, and that's the best answer I can give. Uh, the pickups are unknown humbuckers that I've had lying around for years, um, this thing took forever to get intonated and to set up for playing. The action is still a little high for my liking. Um, I need to file down the bone nut slightly more, but it's, it's good enough to give a demo. As always, if you guys are interested in following what I'm working on before I post these videos, give me a follow on Instagram at burlsart.